Hi, I'm Ellen Jaffe Jones, the author of Eat Vegan on $4 a Day. And I wrote the book because I think it's the best way to save your money, save your life, save the environment, and save your bottom line as well as your waistline. I'm also the veg coach and the broccoli rep because who else is the broccoli rep? What I want to talk to you today about is my new baby, my bike. After eight years, I had to trash the old one because it was just too rusted out. The spokes were popping all out, uh, popping all out, and it just would have cost too much money to fix it. So hopefully the bike shop is now fixing it and prepping it for somebody else who will benefit from it. But as you can see, my bike is more than just a racing bike. It's a very functional bike. I have my little saddlebags back here that I, I transferred from the old bike. And... When I go to the grocery store, all the cashiers and the employees stand outside, either on their coffee break or their smoking break, watching to see if I really can get all the grocery bags into the saddlebags, which I always do, but it's fun for everybody to see if I can really do it and not fall over on the bike. And what's really cool about this bike is it's made out of carbon. Now, I tell you, this was not the most expensive bike because I, of course, did try out some of the more expensive ones. But they're so light and so fast, I was afraid, even though I do, as a runner, have a need for speed, um, I just didn't want to quite go that fast. And so I just got back from my first run, uh, my first bike ride, which is kind of like a run because I keep uh, track of it all on my Garmin here, which keeps track of both the running, swimming, and also the biking. But I got up to 20 miles an hour. So that was faster than I've ever been on any bike before. And, of course, I'm riding in a flat terrain, so I don't have to um, be quite so concerned with getting speed, uh, as much speed as I might if I were going up and down hills. But it was a great ride. And uh, so much has changed since I bought a bike. And I just thought, if you haven't shopped around lately, it's really quite uh, an experience. And, and just look how light it is. So it's very easy to maneuver if you have to... Uh, put it on a truck or a car or you know get it somewhere it's just much easier to do that now and the gears of course go up to 26 and it's just amazing um, how speedy and uh, fun it was and, and that's really my message to you no matter what it is whether it's a bike whether it's swimming whether it's running walking just get out there and do something Right now in our community, there are a number of uh, other kinds of sports clubs popping up. Like it used to be there were just running clubs, and now there are actually walking clubs because the needs of walkers really weren't being addressed in our community. So you can do fun races, you can do more serious or competitive races, both walking, running. A lot of races have running and walking at the same time or staggered times. So it's really quite fun to just get off the couch and find something that you love. And my big point is spend the money. Spend the money that it takes to get something that you will do, that you love, like a bike, and get a good bike so that you'll keep biking and enjoy it and have fun. Um, because the money that you spend on these kinds of things ultimately will keep you away from doctors and hospitals, and that is so much more costly. The cost of a bypass surgery in the U.S. is about $100,000, so you'd have to buy a lot of bicycles to catch up to that. And, you know, I, I also have a, a wealth of justifications and rationalizations that you are welcome to use, such as a bike is about the price of joining a good health club, a bike is about the cost of two MRIs. Uh, a bike is about the cost of medication for six months for diabetes. A bike is, um, well, I'd like to say it's cheaper than a copay, but that would be a little bit of a fib, so I cannot say that. But it's, it's really totally just worth it to get something and, or to invest in something. A health club if you want to go there, if, you'll, if you like the socialization of being around other people. Whatever it takes to get you off the couch get you out the door, and stay motivated because it's just so much fun. It's much more fun to feel good, to be healthy, because if you're not, you really can't enjoy your life and the people around you. And if you have families that, uh, that you care about, you know, it's important to be there for them, however that takes form. But mainly it's about feeling good and being around and enjoying your life. I'm Ellen Jaffe Jones, the author of Eat Vegan on $4 a Day. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button somewhere down there. And also remember that I'm the Veg Coach at vegcoach.com. I do online coaching both for running and personal training, as well as just trying to morph slowly into a vegan diet if you're having trouble doing that. 
And I'm also the broccoli rep because who else is the broccoli rep? See you soon. Gotta run.